Hello everyone, and welcome back to our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run, where we are playing Dr. Krominov, the ecologist who doesn't take assassination missions. Last time, we finished the Brain Scorcher. It was a pretty fun run, radar was full of monolith, but we managed to get through to through and into the actual laboratory, X-19, which is the Brain Scorcher, where we used two Phantom Stars, one on the way down and one on the way up. So we basically finished the Brain Scorcher in three minutes, but it was a pacifist run of the Brain Scorcher. We did not... Well, actually, we did murder one monolith at the end there because our last Phantom Star ran out, but other than that... We didn't touch anyone in the Brain Scorcher, and it was pretty fun. Honestly, we wouldn't have gotten any important loot out of the Brain Scorcher anyway, because we are not allowed to loot dead bodies of armors and weapons. And other than that, honestly, we, we could have made a lot of money by killing everyone in there and just looting parts and ammo. On the other hand, we saved a lot of money just by uh, not having to repair our ammo, uh, our armor and replenish our meds. So now with the Brain Scorcher done, and the Miracle Machine has been done for a while now, we have access to all of the zone. Now, you can go north without stopping the Brain Scorcher, but I kind of like to do it before heading to the northern parts just because I I don't know it it feels better to know that uh, I I finished it also the brain scorcher is kind of a huge leap in difficulty from the southern areas and it it's kind of a test to see if you're prepared for stuff up north now Jupiter and Zaton is not really that bad usually the stalker patrols are pretty small two, three, four people uh, if you're hunting for for endgame enemies. Uh, but it's outskirts where it really gets dangerous. Outskirts is uh, crazy. Um, not only do you have um, UNISG and monolith patrols, which are four or five people, but you have huge families of mutants in there. Last time I went in there, I fought, I think, nine chimeras at the same time. And uh, yeah, it's 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 a really fun place to be. But at the same time, if you are unlucky with the spawns, it's it's uh, it's hell. But anyway, we still have a ways to go until then. Then our next objective will be the artifacts in Red Forest for the ecologist missions and for that we will first have to find the dead stalker pda which will be in the tunnel here by the uh, checkpoint by the bridge to limansk but we also have a uh, mutant hunt the parent of fear mission in the red forest and this will probably be a black chimera or a bloodsucker but in the red forest it's usually going to be a Chimera. After that, there will be two artifacts to get. One of them will be right here in the, this little crater here, which we will get through. Um, there, there is an uh, underpass here, a tunnel, and we'll get to it. After which, we will use... There is a tank with a teleporter, which will teleport us right next to... Um, Right next to Forrester's place. And then we will actually have to fight our way into the Sin base in the mine. Because the other artifact will be in there. And after that we will head back south probably. Then we'll go north and finish these other two missions. Now probably in the next episodes we will also deal with Laboratory X-18 in Dark Valley. I'm really scared of that one because... Um, it's probably the most random laboratory out there. But yeah, this is what we will do this episode. Now, you've probably noticed I have a companion. 
and it's hip and we also already armed her with a pretty good AK it's an AK-103 because she did have a broken uh, DAS-194 that we gave her at the start of the game so she will be joining us now and uh, we'll, we'll try to keep her safe I didn't really wanna head into Red Forest on my own because yeah, it's not fun also to prepare for the anomalies uh, and Red Forest in general, we took our SPAS-12 with slugs. We got our sniper rifle. We have our... Um... You know what? I actually won't take the sniper rifle. Just because... Uh... It's, it's pretty heavy. Right. So, we have the XM-177 and the SPAS-12. Uh, we have our SSP-99 Diamond, which provides probably the best all-around resistance here. Uh, also, I know there will be some electric anomalies we need to pass through. So, um, we also have a Bore Belt, which increases electrical and chemical resist 8 and 10%, respectively. And I also got an improved surge regenerator which I built um, on my own we had enough parts for it and that's a whopping 48% electrical resistance so we should be covered with that but yeah let's uh, head out and see what's waiting for us in the red forest I'll see you there Okay, so here we are in Red Forest. We've got our shotgun ready. I'm gonna do a quick check of all my weapons because sometimes... I, I run into a, an interesting bug sometimes where... Uh, I cross from one zone to the other and some of my weapons uh, aren't loaded anymore. Okay. I already heard something. Yeah, there's there's some gunfire in the distance. Now, first thing we have to do. All right, so a sinner killed a free stalker. Uh, east of the road to Jupiter. Yeah, it's um, that's gonna be right in the middle of the sin encampment. So we gotta get to the tower, but I really wanna keep my eye on that park entrance right there. I hear lurkers in the distance to the left. We'll switch to AP. And let's see what's in the tower over here. Oh, we have mercs. Those are friendly, which is really good. Let's hope there aren't any bandits with them. Seems safe. Let's switch back HP and let's see. The PDA should be, I think, here. There we go, this is Stalker's PDA, and this will show us where the anomalies are. So, one of them is, as I said, in the mines, and the other one is over in the center. So, we're gonna go deal with this mission first, and then we'll head out to the mines, uh, to the anomaly in the crater. Got my words there for a second. And then we will teleport near the mines. It's gonna be a hard fight, probably. Because uh, Sin is. Well, they're late game enemies, and we will actually have to take a base full of them. And Sin's in a very annoying spot where. 
they usually don't wear armor, so you don't really want to use AP on them. But sometimes they do. The overshields, from what I know, don't care about penetration. So it's all about raw damage. But if you do end up using FMJ, sometimes you'll meet a sinner who is wearing something like a um, exosuit. I'm hearing some mutants up ahead and uh, hips on it. Right, we'll, we'll actually let her... Oh, it's been a long time since I... Oh! No, no. Oh, okay. Well, you guys know how we deal with chimeras, right? First, you pause the video. <laughs> and then you like and subscribe. And after that, jump sideways. Easiest thing. Or even better. Let your merc friends deal with it. Okay, we still have dogs incoming. Never mind, it was a cat. Whoa! A bit of a lag spike over there. Okay, can you please not kill him? Yeah, it really likes me. Doesn't it? All right. So we finished the parent of fear. Uh, I'm really sorry. I I might have lost a little bit of um, footage there at the gate. I I had the feeling I was uh, a little bit laggy, so I wanted to pause right there. But uh, well, we we got it. Okay, but of course, even though we dealt with those, probably not the end of the mutants around here. Red Forest is just full of them. And normally, I wouldn't mind it, except with all the trees around here, it's really, really hard to maneuver. Also, there's random anomalies dotted here and there. So... Yeah, I'm gonna also try to keep my ears open for other mutants that might be around. Interesting. Usually when you've got a named anomaly, you also have an artifact or two in it. But... Seems like uh, not this time. Oh, that's a controller. Where though? Zombie over there. How much 556 do I need to put into this guy? Okay, another zombie. Okay. So 
we know for sure there's a controller in there. Because no one else makes those annoying sounds, but... Um... If he's in the tunnel... We're gonna have some troubles. Alright, we, we got him. Unfortunately, there's a rebounder right there. And, uh, can we pass without... Oh! Hmm. Yeah, we can get under this. Alright. That's good. Got our controller brain. Okay, there's a stash down there, but I can't really get to it because there's another damn rebounder there. Right, so this place... don't remember if it has sin or not, but it appears it's okay. Also, I can see an artifact from here. So, let's slowly move forward and... Uh, not sure where that... It was close, but not that close. Right, let's get on this rock. Get a, get a good vantage point. Let's see what we have here. Looks clear. Also, there is a stash right there, and I would like to get that one. Later in the game, there will be a uh, sin mission here. Uh, it's really annoying. And anything related to sin is really annoying, actually. Just a very annoying faction to deal with. Right, so we have everything put on. Our fire resistance is okay. It's not the best. But it's not the worst either. So, let's quickly go and grab the magnet, which is the artifact we're here for. And, okay, we also already took a little bit of damage. Heal up a bit. Okay, where's the other artifact? Oh, down there? No, that's a burner. Alright, I have no idea where it would be, and you know what? Let's not waste money on armor repairs. Right? Check this box. It's not bad, I guess. Could it be on top? That would be so funny. But no, it's not. Alright, but since we're here, we did get the Gravi, which is really cool. I think... I think that is also... Oh, that doesn't sound good. Got him. Yeah, there's, there's sometimes a viewer if you head towards the tank. And there's our anomaly, actually. You know what? I don't see it anymore. Did it maybe drop into the hole? There it is. Sweet. Okay. A jellyfish, that's pretty cool. Okay, but where was I? Oh yes, um, 
the Gravi Anomaly. I think we actually need one of those for, for Hip's mission, right? Okay, we're at 93 armor, so we can just use the cheap duct tape to fix both of these. But our helmet is a little bit worse for wear, so I am going to use this one. And uh, you know what, I'll just combine it with the charge of that, and we are good. Oop! Let me see that one. Alright, let's reload. Gonna reload the shotgun as well. No mutant parts, which is a little sad, but you know what? It's it's alright. Okay, now with that viewer dead, I don't think there will be any other mutants around here. But it's still better to be safe than sorry. Usually it's around this uh this uh Bot that they spawn, but I think that one got pulled over when uh, we shot the controller or something. Is there anything else here? There's just some places I. Oh, that was close. There are some places in the zone where I very rarely explored and I don't remember much about. Okay, we are done with mutants. We're gonna switch to AP. Our shotgun is um, using slugs, so we're good with that. And it's teleporting time. Now, before that, I will definitely take a morphine. We are about to get deep into sin territory. So I would rather be safe than sorry. We'll eat um, chocolate. You know what? I'll even fix that leg. I'll, I'll use a charge of uh, ibuprofen for it. And... Okay. Hip will find her way to us. So I'm not really worried about her. But we do need to get in cover and fast. Because... This checkpoint is gonna be full of sinners, usually. They did fought, fight some free stalkers. Alright, I think I already heard one. That was the wrong thing to press. Didn't I just reload this a second ago, like? Oh, there's an artifact over there. Remember that. Hmm. Oh. We also have Hip coming over. I'm not sure where she is, but she will be coming over definitely. And we can also see that we have a sinner close to our crosshairs. Uh, I'm gonna get a little bit of height here and... Uh, okay, I think they fought some type of mutant over there. Ah, no, it was just a normal stalker. The uh, most annoying thing about Sin is, in the Red Forest especially, is they're pretty hard to spot. Hip, stop fighting and just get over here. See, I would have loved to give that to Hip. Or the Ash. Or pre pretty much anything. <laughs> it's okay with the AK, but... Uh... And we crashed. Wow, amazing. Alright, we are back. 
And this is exactly why I do random quick saves here and there. Yeah, there is actually a sinner right here. I hate these fuckers. Right, so... Um in case you missed it, I might actually have to put it out of um, the video, but we did have a crash right after doing the mines, which is really annoying. Ooh, a bracelet? Interesting. I think I hear more sinners in the distance. Yeah, they're also shooting. Just can't see these guys. Ah. Oh. Not sure what hips fighting over there. That guy had an Ash 12. I'm really glad we managed to take him out here without too much of a hassle. He probably came out of the mine, but there will usually be another few people in there. So let's uh, assemble these. Clean the barrel of my gun because we have a parts maintenance kit. And, oh, there's definitely someone in there. Right, let's, let's just, just go do it. There's two guys in there. That was like, what, five headshots? Luckily, it seems like they de aggro in there. Oh, our rank improved. That's pretty cool. There's someone else in there.
Эй, уебак! Окей. Okay. Ну как там тебе? Печет! I think for some reason they can't shoot outside the mine from inside? Or maybe I'm just uh, hallucinating? But uh, yeah, let's risk taking a step in. The good part is it seems hip is not engaged, but they are definitely shooting now. <laughs> Okay, um, I think the sparkler is a bit less radioactive, right? Yeah, it's just beta particles, so let's put the Colobock in here and keep the sparkler. Ooh, what was that purple thing? A sponge. Jellyfish, I think, is both. Oh no, it's just beta particles. We can deal with a jellyfish. Okay, um, and also hip. I need you to carry some of my crap. Oh, not that. All of these. scope we got there and this spot once again is pretty empty that's good not sure what hip is doing over there hmm okay is anyone in here no, it seems clear. Good. Right, so here comes the fun part. Gonna put back our stuff. Pseudo dog fur, the other two furs, and the electrical resist. And, um. go two of them and you know what screw that i'm pretty sure that's not the best way to do that anomaly definitely not the optimal way of doing that anomaly we got another colobock and a pda let's see what this has on it nothing important but we did manage to do it let's put back our good armor chimera hide and uh not the boar pelt we want the pseudo dog fur yep you scared the hell out of me uh i'm guessing you are full on inventory right give me some of that ammo and take this weird irradiated thing Okay, so you know what? Since we're here, I think I'd like to go north and unlock the stations, uh, the uh, unlock Yano station. There is also a yellow stash right here, which would be amazing, and I think we can just about make it. We still have a pretty good amount of ammo. And we can uh, use that when waypoint to 
sell some stuff when we get there. That way we're nice and uh, non-encumbered when we turn back to turn in the artifact quest, which we will do today, definitely. Yadlin, Rat Protectant, more Yadlin. I mean, we can sell the Yadlin probably. So that's about it for now, and let's also head all the way down to Yano Station. And that's where we will set our new home base. I did say this will happen when we established our base in Dead City. That it's only temporary and we will move to Yana Station simply because it's really close to the scientific bunker. Also, it's probably... I mean, it is the most central part in the north of the zone. Excluding Pripyat, but uh, we're not Pripyat, friends brother. with monoliths, so... It's, it's not gonna work for us, right? Right, so we have to talk to this guy right here. Loki. I've come to see you. There are rumors that plans for a new weapon exists inside a secret lab within the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. We must retrieve them from the monolith if we are to stand a chance against them. I know how grave the risks are, but if you are willing to capture the documents, I will reward you well. Very well. Search the monolith control center. Is that in the actual uh, Chernobyl NPP or... Oh yeah. All right. I don't remember doing this mission before, also we forgot to get our yellow stash over there. That's alright, let's also... Do we want to talk with Beard right now? I don't think I want to talk with Beard right this moment. What I do want is to head downstairs and set this spot as our new spawn place. How are you doing? Okay. And I will head back south. I'll take this stash as well. Then back through Red Forest. And we will turn in the mission here. After that, I would like to get all my stuff from Dead City. And we will start slowly moving south. Uh, moving north. Now, I will probably keep that off screen because uh, no one wants to see me just run around hauling uh, base items. It's getting a bit closer. Oh. Oh! Carlix. These little guys are they're basically made of glass. They they just explode when you shoot them. But also they don't really do a lot of damage. They will come at you and try to punch you. But they are deceptively dangerous. You'd think they don't really do much, but I think they have the highest rate of uh psy ghost spawns. They just continuously bump them out like crazy. Right, here's the golden stash. Expert tools. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blow out your ears, but first golden stash up north, we got an AS Val. We've got expert tools. Got an upgrade. We got a sin overcoat. That's completely useless. I'll disassemble that. Wow. Right. So that's gonna be awesome. 
And the AS file is going to be amazing as well. Right, so I'm going to head back down to army warehouses now. And I will see you all there. Right, so we are back in army warehouses. And we are going to turn in the artifacts for this guy that wants us to not steal his work and we will definitely uh, <laughs> do it. What a trip that was. Even though I had to shoot my way through, I managed to get all the samples. This better be worth it, Professor. Wonderful! I was getting worried already. I hope this bonus will cover your medical expenses. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, even in Ukraine, we we get our medical expenses covered in the zone. <laughs> oh, did you ever manage to create artifacts in a lab? I mean, you have been studying them for quite some time now, and wouldn't the need for the zone fall dramatically if artifacts could be created outside of it? Work on the creation of artificial artifacts was carried out even before the nuclear disaster and the creation of the zone. My supervisor used to live and work in Limansk. We stayed up at his house for many nights discussing the possible origins of artifacts. After stealing a grow bed from the lab, we even managed to create a proto-artifact, just like the ones you bought me. Interesting, what happened to your friend? I don't know, there was no evacuation from Limansk at the time of the disaster. Where our, where all its inhabitants disappeared to is a mystery to me. That reminds me, I still have the address of his house. Could you go there and see if the artifact is still there? Who knows, maybe it is the key to understanding all of this. Right, so we will have to go through Limansk. The northern part of Limansk. There's two golden stashes there, there's four more smaller stashes. So, even if we can't loot all the monolith on the way there, we might still get a pretty good payday out of going to Limansk. Hmm. And then we can come out straight through Jupiter and I can avoid all of Red Forest next time, because I definitely don't ever want to go there again. But for now, I'm going to go quickly grab this stash over here for a mission and head back to Dead City and then we'll see what we will do. need to be a bit careful here because there are pretty angry mutants that is a chimera and you know what wasn't very nice of you, Mr. Chimera. <laughs> Shot in the butt. That wasn't the most perfect way to handle a Chimera, but uh, you know what? Even so, I am thinking of changing my doctorate to Chimera handling, because I am slowly becoming more and more of an expert. And by now, I'm sure you all know how to deal with the Chimera as well. Right, now where is this stash? Right in the car. Also, 
I, I thought I spotted someone over there. Right, doc. Ooh, hoo, hoo, Gauss ammo. Right, we will not sell the Gauss ammo this time because we should start stockpiling it uh, for later. We might actually need to do some more stuff to upgrade the sniper, but I will definitely do that with episodes. Especially this uh, weight reduction sounds really good. But for now, we have a little bit of a new gear. Got a new sniper rifle, we've got new night vision, we've got a new PDA, we got a new pistol. I never used the Kunan before. But uh, let's, let's do a little... Uh... Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Right, but that's going to be it for today. And in the next episode, we will head over to Limansk. And uh, we will finish the mission to find the artificial artifact. And also, we're going to grab a few more stashes. Now, this was a pretty lucrative episode. It was horror dealing with sin, as it always is. But we managed to do it. We managed to finish the artifact missions in the Red Forest. We killed a few chimeras, which was really amazing. And we made our way up north to Yanov Station. And we opened our first golden stash in the northern area of, of the zone. And we have our expert tools, which is just amazing. We also managed to make an advanced weapon repair kit so we can work on advanced weapons. We just need more stashes so we can get some better weapons and who knows, maybe even an exosuit. But this was it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed and as always, I will see you all next time.